Hey guys, what's going on? I'm here with Iron from Vital Sports and Fitness Recovery, and we saw him not too long ago, and he worked the hell out of my shoulder. And it's only been a couple weeks, but I've had so much relief, so I wanted to come back again and have him hit it again, because when you're moving in the right direction, it's definitely important to continue to move in the right direction. Yep. But one thing that he did mention when I had my last massage was to take turmeric and vitamin C. So I just wanted to point out that that was really, really important, especially when you're having a really intense massage, one that might be a little bit painful. <laughs> but I do have my turmeric and vitamin C here. I'm going to take it now. I'm also going to take it in a couple hours, and I'm going to take it one more time before bed. So with, especially with vitamin C, if you take too much, at one time, you're just gonna kind of pass it through your body. So about a thousand is the most you should take in one sitting. So I'm gonna take it and spread it out throughout the day. And I'm gonna do the same thing again tomorrow. Yeah, and if you take too much vitamin C at once too, it irritates um, your bowels and stuff, so not a good thing. But um, turmeric and vitamin C afterwards um, helps you with the soreness, like a lot. Great, great deal. That and a bunch of water, and you should be good. Yep. And Blackstone puts out the best turmeric and vitamin C, guys. Alright, so what's bothering you today? So my shoulder, you had done something, and I don't even want to ask for it again, but you did something in the armpit the last time I saw you, yeah, yeah. but it like, it hurt, but the amount of relief that I had afterwards, like, it was insane. Um, I do feel a lot of tension, like, kind of connecting, like my neck, I guess it's like trapped into trap, my neck. Yeah. Um, I do feel a lot of tightness in there. Um, it's definitely front and rear delt, but like I said, whatever you did last time, I had a lot of relief, so um, that was hugely helpful. Okay. All right, I'll focus on that area. That's the subscap that I hit before. Okay. It's not a very pleasant area, but I mean, it needs to get hit sometimes. <laughs> Check you out. Hands on the sides. In this area. This under yeah. right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this yeah. are this director also. Yeah, I feel that. It's basically this whole upper quadrant right here. It's not too bad. Oh, and I feel that. <laughs> deep, deep breath in. Exhale. Nice. Once again, inhale. Exhale. I'm just like being smart, I'm not going like very heavy. I'm doing like more volume, lightweight, and just trying to like feel it out, you know? Yeah. It's definitely difficult to like reel it in because I just want to push the weight. Yeah, of course. You're okay with the cupping and everything today? Yeah. And Marissa was saying sometimes it lasts like two weeks, like the cup marks. Yeah. Mine were gone within like, I would say like four days. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. They're like, it was really good. Your body heals super quickly. Mm -hmm. I've definitely seen some people who have the cup marks like for like three or four weeks. It's sore from working out than sore from sitting around. Yeah. Like when you get out of bed and you did nothing and you're just aching and sore. That's you feel not worse, yeah. Feeling. Like when I'm sore because I had like a heavy leg day, I'll, I'll own it. That's what I'm going through right now. Two days ago I hit hands so hard I could like barely walk. Uh, <laughs> it like feels so good. Yeah. Yeah, like it's a good, that's a good sore. Getting out of bed because you're aching and did nothing. That's not a sore that you want to associate with. 
I believe that's all associated with like the shoulder too. Yeah. Because your cool. lower rectus is completely fine. It starts like a little bit right here. Yeah. Goes up. Yeah, it feels like it's pinching. Scrape that. Alright, so I'm gonna do some grass then on your erector. It's gonna basically create little micro tears. It's gonna cause the body to send fresh blood into the area, start the recovery process. It's also gonna break up a little bit of the gunk and nuts in here. Of I course. Know it's bad when I can hear it. Yeah. Getting marked up already too. Once again, this stuff will not mark you up if there is no problem in that area. It's not as bad as last time though. That's good. I'm getting somewhere. <laughs> Hitting your rotator cuff. Once again, breathe in slowly out. Good. Back to crunching. Yeah. <laughs> She's gonna feel this one. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's not on both sides.
You all right? That pressure releaser must be the best feeling in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Going over the marks, get blood circulating back into the areas where the cups were. It's normal to feel burning sensation when this is happening. It usually happens on the legs, though, not so much the back. Right. So, the calves are usually very sensitive. I'm surprised she's doing so well with this. <laughs> By this point, that's where people are jumping and screaming. <laughs> Super quick, that's good. Thank you. 
understand because they're like they're such a big like muscle group, like, exposed all the time. Yeah. We always like run into things with you know our quads. <laughs> they're super sensitive. Like shaking. <laughs> this. Yeah. <laughs> and you flip over, it's the worst part. Save the best for last. Well, I hope you guys like this video. Um, this is the first one that I've had my legs done in, in quite some time. Because I haven't really had any issues with my legs other than them being particularly sore this time. Um, that was fun. Good news is my shoulder's moving in the right direction. Doing a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> Bad news is you still have to really breathe through this stuff. <laughs> A comment below. Um, I hope you guys like like the video. Let us know um, if there's anything new and exciting that you saw that you have any questions about. And we will see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.